Mr. Julian Loisis Lester. He is the Malaysia's leading subconscious specialist. He has trained MLM groups, insurance teams, state government management group, large corporations and conducted high-tech public seminars and media events. He is the national record holder in Malaysia Book of Records for Beat the Fear of Heights public seminar together with Manara Kuala Lumpur in July 2003. He's a mental coach for Adidas 24-hour challenge run, Impossible is Nothing campaign, endorsed by Malaysia Book of Record. Julian is a popular local weekly newspaper columnist on hypnotherapy. He appeared on TV, radio and medias on his work with the Malaysian Society. Julian has been trained by Anthony Robbins, the world's number one success coach. He was the walk line leader crew member in Anthony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within You Seminar 2002-2004 Singapore and Malaysia 2003. Julian is a certified national service trainer for character building programs in March 2004. He conducted Malaysia's first Choose to Stop Smoking Seminar which achieved high results in the newspaper. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Mr. Julian Aloysius Lecter. That does 
doesn't matter. Because what is most important about attracting your life results is about being you. And today I'm going to share with you, perhaps as you look at Dr. Naidu's life, you realize that he was always feeling good. And it's telling people always to feel good. And I want you all to stand up right now. I think if Dr. If Dr. Naidu was here, he wouldn't want it this to be treated in a, such a sad manner. He would want it not to be treated like some kind of funeral program, but to be a liberating program. He wants you to be liberated. I think that's what would be his message. Don't you think so? Yes. Yes. Feel happy for him. Come on. Feel good. I think we should celebrate this man. I think we should really celebrate this man. I don't know about you, but when I was sitting down, I felt good. I felt good because you know why? There are good human beings in this world. And a man who dedicated his life, created attraction, was really something that I think you should model. You see, what's really important is, he's, he had great visuals. He visualized. I, I don't know when you're hearing the audio tape, you're saying, I want a lot of millionaires, 200 over millionaires or 40 over millionaires. Do you think in here we have a lot of millionaires? Yes. yes. Don't you think he attracted it? Yes. Yes. So could you. Because he operated from the mind. And there was another thing that he was saying that's very important that was part of his attraction. He said, talk. Talk, talk. Is it talk the right thing to the right people and don't talk the wrong thing to the right people? Now, it's so important for you to realize the quality of communication is the quality of your results. And this is so important for attraction. And how you're asking and feeling is so good. And did you see he was, I, I heard the, the conversation, he seems like a man who's always not even giving a chance for doubt, not even giving a chance for negativity, he was not even giving a chance for you to feel bad, correct? Yes. Now would you, if you are standing here right again, would he give you a chance to feel bad? No. I think he will ask you to feel great and celebrate with him. To realize that your profession, I, I'm, I'm not an insurance person, but I like that statement that you're the only guys who give a check when it's needed. Give yourself a minute. It's a very noble job. And I think you all should learn to attract that fact into bringing this over to you. Like how you are saying, he, was, he wanted more and more people. Now, you don't need to work, you don't need to push, you don't need to do anything. All you need is to design your mind, to put good ideas, image, and to feel good. Because good feelings will attract good things. Do you agree? Yes. If you have bad feelings, would you attract good things? It's all common sense knowledge. We know that. We know what to do, but we don't do what we know. And so, we need to understand that the only thing... Yeah, you can sit down. Thank you. The only thing you need to learn about attraction is you got to learn to operate from inside. I remember two weeks ago, I had a chat with a very successful business uh, entrepreneur. And, he, and I was talking to him, look, if someone wants to make money and I want to attract a lot of things, will I get it if I start pushing, pushing, pushing and doing it? They said, no, you'll never make money. He said, if I want to make money, I only make money 
by operating from within and going outside. Look at Dr. Nidus life, Paul Nidus life. Wasn't he so busy giving value to everybody, to the industry, to GE life, to all of you? Look at how he was on the, on the stage. He was a powerhouse. He had so much energy, he had so much focus, and he had so much to share. So, my dear friends, attraction, attraction, it is what we want. And today, if you can model him to get some ideas, concept, and the way he delivered his life, he delivered his life in such a manner that he never entertained failure. He only wanted to entertain results. And I think he's done a good job today. Look at a number of people here. Don't you think so? Yes. When you go home today, if one guy over all these years kept his life attractive in the way he handled himself internally and communicated externally. He utilized his thinking power in a certain way, acting in a certain way. Asking, 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 remember he said, us, 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 us. And having fun, I think he had a great loss of fun. Because I, I think he did. He wore sunglasses on, while well, on stage. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a presenter wear sunglasses. So it's outrageous, unreasonable, and feeling good. So I think a person like that just knew what he wanted to attract. And today, if you are looking at it from your power to attract, it's not rocket science. You don't need to know so much, but only to understand that if you go inside you, as you sit down there, you realize that everything within you, there's an order. Your heart pumps this way, diastolic, systolic. Your blood flows in a certain direction. Your breathing is in and out, yes? So, doing and becoming successful in whatever you do, also there's an order. And by thinking, the creative process, you create things with your mind, and then you do. Very simple, it seems logical, but that's the truth. And I think Dr. Paul Naidu did it very well today. He did it and showed to you all so many things. And many of you who had a personal experience with him would have realized that he actually got you going just by your thinking. My friends, I want you now as you sit down. I learned this some I learned this very it's very important that as we go in life we sometimes have to get some good role models. I think that someone that outstanding as Dr. Paul Naidu is really important for those of you who are starting, those of you perhaps who need a push, those of you who want to attract whatever you want to model. And what I want you to do now is, again I need you to stand up. Can I get you to stand up? I know this is a little bit of an exercise, but I got a short moment or two or to, to speak to you. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to take a deep breath, breathe in, and breathe out. I just want you to feel 
in your heart right now. Just a good feeling. In the eye of your mind, I want you to imagine Paul, Dr. Paul Naidu standing on the stage. And he is standing there. I'll walk to the side so that you can see him standing there. And I want you to imagine this man with all his achievement. He had literally moved an industry in his own manner. See this man, his image very clearly in your mind, not now, an image that you will take home, an image that you will attract all his ways of achieving, all his ways of communicating, teaching, giving value, not only to himself, but to all his fellow brothers and sisters. Wherever he went, not only just for the industry, but for mankind. And see that image very clearly. And now in your mind, I want you to imagine that image of Dr. Paul Naidu just floating into, right in, and standing, standing right in front of you. And see yourself shaking hands with him talking and feeling good. Imagine yourself inspired with what he is telling you, sharing with you, watching his smile on you, encouraging you to be millionaires, to be millionaires, nothing less, nothing more. Now, just to complete this, Imagine Dr. Paul and I saying, step in and let me guide you from my right now on as your model. That from now on, wherever you go, whatever you do, I will be your guide, your role model to build you, to attract all the things that you want in this industry. Now open your eyes. Feel good and ask. From now on, feel good and ask what do you want. Ask for the customers. Ask for the, the ask for the, the the sales consultants that you need. Ask for the money you need. Like I said. Ask your family member what they want. Ask, 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 ask. Because when you ask, you have control. That's the first thing in sales, isn't it? When you ask, you have control. So, start controlling your life by asking all that you desire. And feel good and know that it's coming. The dimensions of your, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, all links in your communication. And you need to know exactly what you're asking and know what you're getting. So now, I want you to sit down quietly. You know, most of the time when people ask, what do you want? What do you, what I want and, and what I want? I don't get or get, it's, it's so difficult. Now, I want you to cut that out, cut that out. Look at Dr. Naidu, in Paul Naidu, he didn't even give anybody a chance to entertain any thoughts. In fact, I'll tell you something that's amazing. I've, just last week, I was talking to a friend, and a long time ago I heard of this guy. I said, someday I want to meet him. And perhaps afterwards I'll have a chat with you, Dr. A.J. Peter, because that guy said, and I said, maybe someday I'll meet Dr. A.J. Peter, and here he is today. And that is really attraction. I just couldn't believe it. I've never seen you, and I didn't know how you look. And when I said, Dr. A.J. Peter, I said, wow, wow, this is someone that I really wanted to speak to a long time ago. 
And that was, that was just last week. And there are many times where I speak to many people, just overnight, they attract money, they attract opportunity. A customer just walks into your door. I like to share with you sometimes in this world, in, when we are having lots of problems, lots of things, you should be amazed that when you start to cut Cut all those negative vibes, all those negative thoughts, all those bad feelings. Then you will realize that you will attract a lot of nice things coming in. I leave you with a little story I found in an old book, one of those Vivekananda books. Perhaps it will, it will inspire you to think, what's it like to feel good even in the most Difficult moment and attract and continue with what you want. Now listen to this and I'd like you to share with many people out there who needs to know that they have actually a way out. There was a guy who was walking by the by the mountainside and as he was walking by the mountainside, he slipped and fell down by the edge. And he was falling down on the edge of the cliff. He managed to hold on to, to a cherry, the cherry stump. And he held on to the cherry stump. He said, oh, what a day, a bad day, you know. He looked up and was like 20 feet up the cliff. And he said, this is difficult to climb up. And as he looked up, he saw a lion and a tiger on top. He said, oh my goodness, I, I can't climb up now. Now he looked down and he saw right at the bottom there's this river and there were crocodiles there waiting for him. Now as he was hanging on to there, he felt the, the, the cherry stump shifting. And he looked in, he saw a black and a white mice eating the roots. And he said, oh my goodness. Then he looked at the sky and he saw all his vultures flying around. And he said, and he said this is surely lunch. <laughs> now, as the guy was holding on to the cherry stump, he suddenly saw this big, juicy, red cherry. And so what he, as he looked there, he automatically took, <laughs> took his hand and plucked it and started eating it. Now the author of the book said, author of the book cut the scene and went to another scene. Here he was, he was walking in a Paris museum. And as he walked into the Paris museum, he saw this diroma, this cluster of Paris thing, model. They made of the guy hanging on a cliff and the, and the vultures and the same scene. But they put this word there that says, look at this stupid fool. In his moments of death, he is busy eating his cherry instead of calling to God for help. <laughs> now, the authors smiled and said, if only they knew how the story ends. And he brought back the scene again to the, to the guy hanging on the cherry stump and eating. And what he did was, as he was eating, suddenly the whole earth started to rock and shake. And he was wondering, Wow, the, the, the whole, it was very loud and very, very, you know, shaking, yeah? And the mice just fell off. And he looked up and he saw the lion and tiger were fighting. They were fighting and fighting and then suddenly it went silent. And he looked up and saw both the animals killed themselves. You know, they were dead. Now he, here he was, he has finished his cherry, I mean, obviously, and he told himself, look, I can't be there for the rest of my life. So he looked for an opportunity when one of the watchers was flying close by and he let go his grip and held on to the watcher's leg. And he had this beautiful ride with the watcher. He saw the valleys and everything. And then finally when the watcher came quite close to the one mountain top, he released his grip and he fell to safe grounds and carried on his journey. Now, trust yourself.
that in the most difficult moment, probably some of you all are sitting down there wondering, how am I going to do this? What am I going to do about this? Whether you want to raise the bar, or whether you want to do it, you're trying out this business for the first time, it is not your, your, your right to solve every problem in this world. Because most problems will solve on your own, without you. And that's the moral of the story. You should have fun. You should be asking for whatever you want. Even in the most difficult situation. Now, if given a chance to attract anything you want, don't worry. The universe will always give you whatever you want. But you should feel good in every moment. You should act when it's time for it. And then you will start to attract all that you desire. I'm on time. Thank you. Announcements to be made by Mr. Silva regarding lunch break.